Remember back in the good old days of exploring a lush new peaceful biome in Minecraft warm summer night? Yeah, well that memory can suck it because I'm gonna be replacing it with the world's largest industrial volcano. So if you're wondering why I haven't posted in five months, it's because I had to place over 500,000 blocks. Give or take... Seven. Oh, but why don't you just code in a new biome instead of making an entire new one in survival hardcore Minecraft? That's actually a pretty good idea. For an idiot to have. Okay, so for this project, I need an insane amount of basalt, so I'm just gonna mine as much as I possibly can. I also need magma blocks, gravel, bone blocks, and blackstone. So, what's the first step? We, we, we just completed it, gathering materials. I don't know about you guys, but in my experience, hot, dry, scorching biomes usually don't have green, flourishing trees, so let's just evaporate those. Just all right, so I just finished mining all the trees. That's all the wood I got, and look how barren this place is now. There's no trees in this section over there or any of this place. Since this biome is very, very hot and the surrounding area is all water, I figure the only good transition I can have is a nice ugly gravel beach. Unfortunately, 21 stacks of gravel only got me this far. Somehow, I, I don't know how. That's 21 stacks right there. So, I did what any dedicated Minecraft player would do. I sat down and played Super Auto Pets for three hours on end. I need help. Anyway, to make a short story short, I flew around for a couple hours, found a gravel hills biome, sunk my shovel straight into the gravel, and hopped out of that joint. Then I spread all the gravel along the land, just like it was butter. Alright, so I finished the gravelly beach on this little island peninsula thing right here. I'm gonna make the entire biome on the little peninsula, um, and then, once I finish that, then I'll start working on the actual giant biome with the volcano and everything. Alright, let's go! Oh, whoa, look! An epic time lapse of me placing three shulker boxes of basalt. But Beppo, you missed a giant spot in the middle. Do you see that? <laughs> That's because my plan is basically to have a mini volcano crater thing filled with lava right here. So I'm just gonna mine out all this um, and then fill it up with lava and have a little mini volcano thing. Oh yeah, guys. What, what the heck is that? Oh, it's Opera GX. <laughs> Thank you for sponsoring this video. This is a little side-by-side -side reference. This is your garbage trash browser, and this is Opera GX. <laughs> you, you see this difference? <laughs> you know what I said about trees earlier? Trees definitely do not belong in this biome. So that was a lie. Just like anything else, as long as it's dead, trees look perfectly fine in this biome. So I'm just gonna build a bunch of these with the acacia wood, because that's like the deadest wood that you can imagine. It's just gray and disgusting. Opera is 100% customizable. You can even set how much RAM and CPU usage it uses so it doesn't slow down your computer at all. Look at how much more efficient Opera is than Chrome. Do you see this? Oh yeah, that tree looks really good. Oh, maybe I should make a fossil too or something. Opera has a massive variety of mods, but most importantly, check out my custom Beppo mod with these custom sound effects, background music, keyboard sounds, and you can turn off any of the things that you don't like. Okay, yeah, that's coming along. I think this is pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. This is coming along. Still think it's missing something though. I've got it. To the mangrove. There's also insane shaders that make your screen go from this to this. And there's a bunch of custom wallpapers and themes. There's even a Beppo wallpaper. I even pinned Discord right here, so it's always available. And if you go here, you can press the import button and it'll import all of your bookmarks, extensions, everything saved from your normal browser into Opera GX. So you don't have to like retype everything and redownload all that. Also, if you use my link in the description, my latest videos will be pinned to your browser right here. So as soon as I upload a new one, you'll know. Grab one of, huh? what the heck? What's the tool for? Oh, it's the axe. Ow. And, oh, ugh. That looks good. I don't want anything good. I want something brown and bad. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of this stuff. All right, this will look like flesh is dried. And over here, now it's like dead leaves. Oh, heck yeah. This is beautiful. And, oh, man, I can't place the dead bush anywhere. All right, this is looking really good, guys. Now I just have to basically copy this and place it over all of that area. However, I need way more basalt. While mining basalt, an old adage enveloped in my mind. Build a man a fire, you'll be warm for night. Set a man on fire and he'll be warm for the rest of his life. AKA there's probably a basalt farm so I don't need to waste six hours mining basalt. Unfortunately past Beppo was an idiot. Unlike present Beppo. I'm, I'm a genius. And didn't realize this until six hours into a mining session. No way. I just looked this up and there's actually such thing as a basalt farm. That means I wasted the last like 12 hours mining basalt for nothing. <laughs> Someone end me. <laughs> well anyway I need some soul sand and oh ow ow all right, now place these bad boys like so. Do one of these. Place some of those. Apparently, the salt generates when setting up flowing lava like this. Why? Well, if I was just a regular human nerd, I'd be like, oh, why are you asking me? But as a Minecraft YouTuber, Beppo, avid psych enjoyer, and many epic creations, I'd say, I don't know. Why are you asking me? 
All right, now I can just hold down left click. Yes, I'll just leave a wait on my mouse and AFK here for a few hours. All right, and I'm back. Let's see how much we got. Let's start with the bottom chests. All right, okay. Holy moly. <laughs> Golly gee whiz, I love life. Well, now that I have a buttload of basalt, I guess I can start placing it down in this biome. I'm gonna have to cover the entire ground, all of this in basalt. Um, so yeah, let's get to work. Five shulker boxes and two hours later, and it looks like I barely even touched this place. <laughs> All right, well, maybe I should start work on a different section. What's the one most important thing in a volcano-like biome? If if you said volcano, you'd be you, you'd be correct. I see no god up here, other than me. <laughs> All right, so this right here, that is the height of the volcano. It's going up about 200 blocks or so. So that's a very, very central height part of it. Um, and now I'm gonna make the rest of the outline of it just so we can have a general idea of the size and where it's gonna be. Okay, so this is the outline of the volcano and now we're at the point of the video where I ask myself, do I really feel like torture? No, I definitely do not. So I'm gonna not work on the volcano right now and finish the basalt layer. Let's check in to see how past Beppo is doing. Now, you might be thinking that I'm suffering from insanity, but that's not true at all. I enjoy every minute of it. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've placed about half of the basalt required that goes all around where the volcano is. Unfortunately, the volcano itself takes up about half this biome. So in reality, I've placed about a fourth of the basalt that I need to place in all. And that was like, um, a hundred thousand. Took me about a week to place all that. As of right now, this biome perfectly resembles your mom. Dry, boring, and not hot in the slightest bit. So I added some fires all around. All right, I want to add some magma around because I think that could look really good. Yeah, look at that. Okay, I'm just gonna make a giant, like, streak of magma in the ground right here. Okay, there's a bunch of these little holes around that had water in them, and some of them are just cave entrances. And, <clears throat> hold on guys, I gotta go have a stroke really quick. And so, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is just place blackstone like this, grab a bunch of lava, and place the lava in here like a little mini lava pool. Oh, yes! Oh, that looks really good. I actually like the lava lake idea so much that I repeated the process nine times around the surrounding area. All right, now I want to add a little lava stream coming out of the top of this little pimple of a hill. All right, place down some of this as the lava's flowing down. Oh yeah, this is looking really good so far. Now, I've placed a lot of basalt that covers most of the ground, but the volcano base itself covers about 50% of the ground, and so I need a bunch more basalt for that. So I did what any dedicated Minecraft player with a YouTube channel named Beppo, makes hardcore videos just for fun, does when he runs out of basalt. I mined more. All right, that was the last block. I got one fourth of the base layer done. I hate my life. Well, all right, there's no delaying it. I just gotta grind it out and place the rest of this. Let's go. And just like that, the base of the volcano is finished lickety split. Well, it wasn't really lickety split. It was like, you know, three days of work. But uh, anyway, I want this biome to be hotter the deeper into the ground it goes as if lava was once on top and then it dried and cooled off, leading to it being cooler higher up and hotter below and black is hotter than gray. So as it goes down, it gets darker and the volcano is emerging from the under. What I'm trying to say here is that the rest of the volcano is primarily going to be made out of blackstone. Okay, so I used all three of my double chests full of blackstone to make this much of the volcano. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need a bit more than that. Unfortunately, blackstone isn't as easy to come by as basalt since you can't just farm it. Is what I would say if I was an idiot. I quickly hatched a plan to make a zombie piglin gold farm. Hmm, I think I should make a zombie piglin gold farm. All right, so you just shoot the zombie pigmen, and now all these idiots just start coming at me. Yeah. Now, I know what you're all thinking. How in the world is this gold farm gonna get me blackstone? And that's actually a really bad question, so I'm not gonna answer it yet. 
I spent the next five hours trying to figure out how to make a sorting system so that the gold bars would go only to the piglins and then only the blackstone would come out. And after those five hours are up, I did not finish it because I'm a moron and I could not figure it out. However, the next day I was able to figure it out and I AFK'd for three hours and this is what I got. <sighs> it's not great. Well, it looks like I'll just have to mine all the blackstone manually. <laughs> I hate my life. I grinded out for three days straight to place exactly one-fourth of the blackstone section of this volcano. Three days for one-fourth, that means it'll take like ten years to make the whole thing! As you can see, this shocked me more than the time I figured out that toasters weren't waterproof. But I didn't let that setback set me back. I set forth a plan of extreme discipline. Day in and day out, constant placing. I didn't care if it took me years. Even months! Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a grueling 10 days, but I've finally accomplished something truly remarkable. I've built half the volcano. <laughs> I need a new job. You know what? No, actually, scratch that. I need a new life. Okay, anyway, after another week of placing, I actually did finally finish it, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at this bad boy. However, the top still isn't finished, so I'm placing dirt down here, and then I'll fill it with lava later. All right, now I'm just gonna replace a lot of this black stone with magma blocks, just to make it look hotter as it gets closer to the lava. Now, before I add the lava to the center, I'm gonna add some cracks and lava going down the sides of the volcano, because I think that'll look absolutely dope. This next part of the volcano is a little hard to understand, so let's use the analogy of a donut. The blackstone is the dough, the lava is the glaze, and the magma is the sprinkles. And the top is me on the toilet after eating said donut. This lower section also needs a lava pool, so I did the same thing with the bottom as I did with the top. I added a bunch of blackstone and magma blocks to give it that I just got off the toilet after going to Taco Bell vibe. You know, scorched and whatnot. Just make sure you don't get too close because you might spontaneously combust and not in a good way. This part's looking mostly complete, but I think it needs like a lava stream spilling out outside of it or something like that. Uh, let's set that down right about here. I also just put down this little mini lava lake down here that it all goes into, just so it has somewhere to go to. Yes, this looks so sick! Dude! Oh, I cannot wait to finish this thing, it's gonna look amazing. Next, I- Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. SAMAKAMARA! He hung up. Anyway, I spent the next 45 minutes placing lava, and BOOM! Volcano is 100% almost completed. At this point, I was talking to my buddy Duncan, and he was like, Bro, you know what would be sick? Smoke pillars coming out of the lava. And I was like, dude, you're a freaking genius, but how would I do that? Just use campfire. I bet. So anyway, I placed down probably 500 different campfires underneath all the lava, magma, a bunch of different places, and look at the sweet smoke effect it gave. Oh my goodness, this is probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Times two, divided by one. Just as a reminder, this is what it looked like at the beginning of the video, and this is what it looks like now. And we still have a ton more to do. At the beginning of the video, I said this biome was boring, lame, constipation inducing. So far, I've only solved the boring and lame parts, so let's give it some fiber. First off, we gotta go to the mangrove swamp to get some mangrove roots. And secondly, <coughs> and secondly, I need to get some bone blocks, and we have that many in our chest, so we're definitely set for now. Alright, I'm gonna just start placing down some bone blocks and placing other bone blocks based off of those ones, and hopefully I can get some fossils that actually look good. I'm thinking like maybe like a rib cage type one for this one. Alright, now I just have to break these. Oh, heck yeah. That actually looks kind of dope. I'm gonna add a little neck thing here. Yeah! That ain't too shabby. Alright, this one's gonna be coming out of the mountain, so it's gonna be mostly buried and just a little bit sticking out, you know how it be. And yeah! Oh, this looks dope. Okay, this one I'm trying to make like a skull type thing. Uh, it's gonna be a lot harder. I just looked up Minecraft skull on Google Images, so I'm gonna just copy that and uh, hopefully it turns out good. If it ends up looking terrible, it's not my fault because I'm not the one that designed it. And if it ends up looking good, then I get the credit because I just built it. So, all right, I'm gonna add some more blocks to the inside so it really feels buried in the ground. Oh yeah. This is actually looking sick. Now I'm just gonna add some of these roots in here to make it look like dried flesh and like, you know, tendons and whatnot. All the stuff you'd find in a regular fossil. Actually, I don't know if you find tendons in a- Oh, yes! This looks so sick! Look what I just designed all by myself without any help or anything from Google. All by myself that I did by myself. All right, I'm gonna make a- I'm gonna make a big boy over here. The one thing this place is missing is a true, real, actual, amazing, epic, giant, massive fossil. I don't even know what- it's some sort of being. Maybe like Ender Dragon size. You know what I'm talking about. So, um, cue the time lapse. I 
slam, boom, just like that, the last block has been fixed. Oh man, this thing is looking so dope. So dope, I can hardly cope. Okay, I just added a little skull to the end and oh, yes! This looks sick, what? Let's do a little comprehensive review, shall we? Right here we got the skull section. Um, right here is the middle part of it, and that's the, the tail. Yep, that is the whole skeleton being. Skeletons and fossils definitely have their place in a biome like this, but what it really needs is some trees. Dead ones, of course, much like everything else around here. And what looks more dead than acacia wood? Riddle me that one on for size. And tree number one is finished. Yeah, it's looking good. Boom! Another tree. Tree number three. Oh, that one's kind of twisted and weird, but you know what? I dig it! Alright, alright, there's another one. Another tree. Boom! Smack! Another tree! Tree it again. And that is another tree. Tree number 17. 31. 92! Oh, look, he, he finished the biome. It's it's done and it sure looks that way to an idiot i have big plans to employ on this bad boy you have no idea what's about to go down number one i noticed it looks about 10 times cooler at night so i'm gonna make it permanently night now how am i gonna make it permanently night in hardcore world well <laughs> I haven't figured that one out yet. But after enough thinking, I realized that all I need is 400,000 amethyst crystals, 100,000 glass, and about two months of time. Now, Joe, I hear you say, how are you gonna possibly get that much amethyst? Shut up. I haven't figured that out either. But instead of trying to figure out a more efficient way to do it, basically all I did was I just found every single amethyst geode that I could, dug straight down to it, and each one removed all the blocks that weren't the amethyst budding, which I, I kind of accidentally broke a few of those ones by accident. Uh, we don't need to talk about that. After spending an entire day AFKing and then mining and then AFKing and then mining and then AFKing and then mining over and over and over and over back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Look at that. Two double chests of amethyst crystals and uh, that's how many double chests I need. Somebody kill me. I also need about 100,000 glass, so I gotta mine about 100,000 sand. I'll then use these crystals to combine them with the glass to make tinted glass. However, I need this much tinted glass, so while I'm waiting, I'm gonna make a bunch more dead trees all around and just overall, you know, decorate the biome because I got nothing else to do while I wait for this amethyst to grow. Whoa, that skeleton doing the hokey pokey. You know, I used to be addicted to the pokey pokey, but then I turned myself around. I know, I know, I promised I wouldn't make any more bad jokes. Psych! I'm gonna continue making bad jokes until I die, until after I die. I'm gonna make terrible jokes. I needed a bunch more mangrove roots to decorate the biome with, so I went to the mangrove forest. I noticed that the roots actually don't burn, so I lit the entire forest on fire so that everything else would just burn away, and then I could just easily mine only mangrove roots. And and then I realized uh, that mangrove roots actually do burn, but it's okay. I enjoy catching forests on fire in real life too. Since I'm still waiting for the amethyst to grow, I thought I might as well make some cracks in the ground where it's just black stone underneath. I think that looks kind of cool. All right, I have about an eighth of the glass required for the total totality of this project. So I'm gonna start placing. <laughs> Look at that. I have the exact right amount of sand in my inventory to go to sky limit. That is insane. Oh, you're probably wondering what the heck I'm doing since I haven't really fully explained it yet. Basically my plan is I'm gonna outline and cover the entire biome in tinted glass at the sky limit. And then it will look like night at all times in the biome. I don't know if it'll actually work, but uh, I'm gonna spend a month on this anyway, and hopefully it will. Uh, well, that was nowhere near an eighth of the amount of glass required. I guess I'll need even more than I originally thought. Oh, snappers, it's day 999. I'm gonna actually go- Oh, yes, day 1000, let's go! Woo! Ow, ow, ow. All right, guys, so- Oh, whoa, look at that. The smoke disappears when you... Okay, anyway, anyway. Um, I've been placing and making... This has been, like, I don't know, a week and a half since I started. And I'm actually getting there. I'm getting some progress done, but I've been spending about four or five hours each day just placing glass. And, man, this is draining me. Guys, look at this Enderman I found. I've just been staring at him, and he can't do anything because he's literally in... Uh-oh. Ah! All right, boys. It's been another week and a half. We're on week four four i think maybe week five i'm not sure it's been a long time since i started p placing the glass but look at that okay you guys know i've been placing this i've been working on this biome for like a couple hundred hours now right like 200 hours anyway you see this place right here you see this it's all in the dark all these weird blocks here i was i, I noticed this myself and i was like what the heck is going on why are there blocks and then i realized i've afk here and worked on this biome for hundreds of hours it's enderman Picking up and placing blocks. This was all stone. Look at that. That was all stone before, and now it looks like that. Just from Endermen placing the blocks in all this dirt over here. And, oh, there's four Endermen right there. See? All right, it's been another week since that last clip, and yeah, buddy, I freaking did it. Look at that. This glass took me about five weeks to fully complete. The tinted glass, placing and making. 
five weeks just for that. My starting date was January 25th, and I finished making it on March 3rd. But it was so worth it. Look how amazing it looks at night and daytime. It's always night. Yay, he finished the biome. You really think I would settle with above and beyond? Uh-uh. I'm going above and beyond, above and beyond. This biome is totally dead and needs a little bit more life to it. First, I made a glass cage in the sky. Then, I added a nether portal and some minecarts. Finally, I connected that nether portal to the roof and made a little spawning platform. All right, now all I have to do is just AFK at the top of this gold farm and just stare down until a gas spawns. Hey, we got one. Okay, sweet. Let's go. All right, make a minecart. Oh, ah. Okay, apparently he can see me. Ah, uh, it's good to know. Place the minecart down. Okay, he didn't see that. Now I just have to wait for him to actually move into it. Oh, sweet. The zombie pigment pushed him. Yes. Okay, I got him. Uh oh. Uh, why is he stuck? I think I forgot to place some. Ah! Forgot to place some rails. Okay, I'm just kind of like I'm, I'm tunneling over to him. Uh, oh! Oh, okay. We're good. Come on, push him. No, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, sweet. We got him. We got. No! Why is he dying? He can't go through the portal. Why is he not going through the portal? No, no, no. Bruh. Okay, we got another one. Place down the minecart. Sweet, I got him. I had to make an activator rail to eject him out right before, um, and that way he actually goes to the portal. Uh, oh, snap! Holy cow! Wow, he instantly shot at me. And there's an army of zombie pigmen in there. What the heck? I'm just gonna shoot one of these guys and they'll all flood away. Alright, and he's in. No, 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 no! Uh, I, oh, what? Not to worry, though. I got another one to spawn. Alright, third time's the charm. I have to... Come on, get under the rail. Oh, no, it's not powered! No, no, no! Not the fire. Oh! I punched him by accident. Okay, okay. One, and... Yes! Woo! I then continued to repeat this process three times all around the sky, and look at this, guys. Oh, looks exquisitely delicious. Oh, <laughs> but it's not over yet, boys. I went back to the nether roof, found the part above the basalt deltas biome, made a little spawning platform, waited for a bunch of magma cues to spawn, shipped them over all the way to the overworld. And look at that, I even made a double tall Goomba by accident. I ended up bringing over 25 magma cubes, some small, some big. Oh, I also learned that if you have a big magma cube and it's named and then you slice it and you kill it and it turns into four little ones, all those four ones are also named. So, um... Fun fact. Anyways, boys, check it out. A fully functional Minecraft custom biome, all made in hardcore Minecraft. Took over the span of five months to build this. Over 150,000 basalt placed, 100,000 blackstone, 180,000 tinted glass, and 350 real life hours spent all to make this biome. Not to mention the time actually spent working on the video portion, which we don't, nobody cares about that, so who cares? Oh, also, uh, you can buy my. I'm not wearing my merch. You can buy my merch here on Beppo.store if you want. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. I love you so.